of 1 over ln of x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 from right hand side. Okay, very good. Remember that here you have a limit. The very first step is substitution. If you do the substitution, you get 1 over ln of 1 from right minus 1 over 1 minus 1, 1 over ln of 1, which is 0, minus 1 over 0, which is infinity minus infinity. Guys, infinity minus infinity is not 0. So this is, it is not 0. It's indeterminate form. So what should we do? Take the common denominator. We are going back to algebra. Nothing calculus about it. Just taking the common denominator. Why is that? Because it's not zero, it's indeterminate form. So it means that you're finding the limit of x minus 1 minus ln of x divided by ln of x times x minus 1 as x goes to 1 from right hand side. So we did some algebra. We created something new. Now we have to do the substitution. So let us substitute. If you start substituting 1, what do you get? You get 1 minus 1 minus 0 divided by 0 times 0. So you get 0 over 0, which is in determinate form, and you can apply L'Hopital's rule. Now calculus. You have to take the derivative of f, take the derivative of g, and then take the limit one more time. So this is f and this is g and you are taking the derivative. The derivative of the numerator, the derivative of the denominator, we're using the L'Hopital's rule. So here it is equal to the limit of the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of ln is 1 over x. Here you have the product of two functions. You have to apply product rule. The derivative of ln is 1 over x times x minus 1 plus the derivative of x minus 1, which is 1, times ln of x. x goes to 1 from right-hand side. We're done with calculus part. Now do the substitution. Substitute one. What do you get? You get one minus one over one divided by, here you have one over x, which is one over one times one minus one plus ln of one. What do you get? You get zero divided by very well, 0 plus 0, which is 0. We have 0 over 0 again. What's the meaning of that? We have to apply, reapply L'Hopital's rule one more time. Now, calculus. Very well. So, what is our function f? Our function f or f prime in this case is this function. Our function g is this function. We can make some simplification as well. 1 divided by x times x is 1, and you have negative 1 over x. So this is equal to the limit. I'm just going to write this in simpler form. 1 minus 1 over x divided by, I distribute 1 over x into parentheses. I get 1 minus 1 over x plus ln of x, as x goes to 1 to the right. So L'Hopital's rule. So, 
So the derivative of one is zero. The derivative of negative one over x is negative one over x squared divided by the derivative of one zero minus one over x is negative one over x squared minus uh, i'm sorry plus the derivative of ln is one over x one over x well i did the calculus now i substitute If I substitute one, I get negative times negative, which is positive one, divided by negative times negative is positive one plus one. So I get one over two, a half is the y value. Very well, we're going to talk about how to analyze graphs of rational functions. For example, without using a graphing calculator or graphing website, we start analyzing rational functions. 